Hello, you're listening to eBible Fellowship's new open form excerpts, and now we present the following excerpt. Welcome to our open forum program. Please go ahead with your call. Thanks for taking my call. Could you go to Hebrews 11, verse 13 and 39, please? Okay, Hebrews 11, verse 13. These all died in faith, not having received the promises but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. And in verse 39, and these all having obtained a good report through faith, receive not the promise. Um, someone brought these verses up trying to um, argue that these people didn't, Jesus hadn't died on the cross for them. And I was interested in the word 1860 the promise and promises it's the same word and i was wanting to you know research this and ask you about it i looked up hebrews 10 36 and it's the same word and it seems to be talking about eternal life not not jesus dying on the cross and i was wondering if i'm if i'm on the right track well yeah that's interesting these all died in faith not having received the promises but having seen them afar off. And uh, they died in Christ. Faith is the synonym for Christ. The whole chapter is the faith chapter. Really, it's the Christ chapter. You know, everything that was done in faith was done in Christ. And as far as not having received the promises, that's referring to a specific set of promises regarding receiving the new heaven, new earth. You know, the promise to Abraham and his seed uh, was to inherit the land of Canaan. And of course, that's impossible on, on a natural level because the land of Canaan is part of this world. And, and the promise continued that the seed of Abraham would inherit the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession. Can't have any part of this world everlastingly, because the whole world's going to burn and be destroyed. As Revelation 21 says, the earth, the heaven and the earth passed away, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. So the promise to Abraham had to do with the spiritual fulfillment. Canaan was a type and a figure representing the earth to come, the, the new earth God would create, and that would be the promise that the saints did not receive, and then at the end, here in, in verse 39, and these all having obtained a good report through faith, receive not the promise, God having provided some better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. That's a big, a big hint concerning the nature of the promise, also has to do with the resurrected body that comes on the last day. I will raise you up at the last day, and all saints, all New Testament saints and whatever Old Testament saints that have yet to receive that new resurrected body will all together receive the fulfillment of the promise in order to have an eternal habitation or eternal inheritance. You have to live forever. You have to live eternally. And so that's actually built in. It's stated in many places, but it's actually implied in the promise itself that your seed will, will live forever or um, have the, the land of Canaan for an eternal possession. Now, as far as the word promise, I think there's a verse in 1 Kings, 1 Kings chapter 8. Yeah, 1 Kings 8, verse 56 and this is when the, the temple, Solomon's temple, was, was finished. And it says here, Blessed be Jehovah, that he has given rest unto his people Israel, according to all that he promised. There has not failed one word of all his good promise, which he promised by the hand of Moses, his servant. The word promise, the first time it's used, in verse 56, according to all that he promised, is Strong's number 1696. 
And uh, then where it says, according to all that he promised, there has not failed one word of all his good promise. That's Strong's number 1697, which he promised by the hand of Moses. That's, again, 1696. 1697 is Debar, and Debar is the Hebrew word for word. And 1696 is the same consonants, same consonants of, you know, there's a series of words around Debar that have the same consonants. And, and, and so they all mean word. They all mean word. You know, understanding that is helpful because blessed be Jehovah that has given rest unto his people Israel according to all that he has really literally all that he had, you know, he worded, but we know what that means, to all he has given his word, there has not failed one word of all his good word, which he has worded, or which he has spoken in the Bible by the hand of Moses his servant. So the promise of God, the promises of God, are basically one with the word. And that's why the translators translated it this way. Uh, you know, God's word is faithful and true. He cannot lie. Everything he has declared in the Bible is absolute truth and will come to pass. And so the, the saints, the saints of old, if we go back to Hebrews 11, in verse 13, these all died in faith, not having received the promises, not having received the fulfillment of the word in certain areas, certain specifics concerning these promises, they did receive salvation. They received salvation, but much of what the word of God, the Bible, is concerned with, it has future fulfillment, even for us today who are living at the very end of all things, you know, the end of of time, and we're on the threshold of the fulfillment of every promise of God in the whole Bible. Yet, we still have future expectation. It hasn't happened. We haven't been changed in our body. We haven't seen this world pass away in a new heaven and new earth. You know, we, or at least we're not there in that new creation. So, uh, it's much the same for us as for them, although some other things have been fulfilled regarding God's salvation program. He completed the salvation of souls, and now we've entered into fulfillment of judgment on the church accomplished, and now we're, you know, well into the judgment on the world that the Bible has spoken about, you know, uh, for thousands of years in so many places. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications, that way you don't miss any upcoming videos.